I want to talk about the relationship between bile acids and cholesterol. It's really important information, especially if you're concerned about your cholesterol. But bile acids are made by your liver. They're also made by your friendly bacteria. But the thing that I want you to know about is that 75% of all the cholesterol in your body is made by your own body. And uh, only 25% comes from food. So when you have high cholesterol, people tend to freak out and they start to get on medication. And what they don't realize is that your body actually makes the majority of cholesterol. They might not also realize this very, very important uh, fact. Your bile acids are the primary pathway for cholesterol catabolism. Now, what is catabolism? It's the process where your body is breaking down complex molecules to simple molecules. So in this case, your body is breaking down cholesterol into smaller particles. So then you can use the small particles to make things like vitamin D, cellular membranes, hormones, and even bile. In other words, bile is made from cholesterol. And this is one of the problems that people have when they start taking a statin drug, which blocks the production of cholesterol. And now we have a, a problem with the production of bile a problem with the production of vitamin D, and a problem with making cell membranes and hormones. Now, number two, 50% of all your daily cholesterol turnover, which means the rate of being depleted and replaced, okay, like recycled, is controlled by bile salts. And number three, bile salts help to regulate the ratios between LDL and HDL. They actually will lower your LDL and raise your HDL. So when people go on a low carb diet, uh, sometimes their cholesterol might increase. And so this is not a bad thing. It just means that your body is releasing more cholesterol from the fat cell. But also if you're concerned, you might want to take purified bile salts because you might be lacking bile and that could be the reason why your cholesterol is a little bit too high. I'm talking about LDL. And if you're not used to eating more fats, you just might not have enough production of bile yet because your body has not adapted. So it's another factor in why you might have high cholesterol. And just so you know, bile salts have many purposes, okay? I just mentioned one, the regulation of cholesterol, but it also acts as a detergent to help break down fat. So you can actually extract the fat soluble nutrients, vitamin A, D, E, and K, which have to do with your vision, which have to do with preventing bruising, that would be vitamin K1. Vitamin K2 has to do with calcium transportation out of the arteries and the joints. Vitamin E has to do with the heart, the pituitary, fertility, and uh, you probably know what vitamin D does, anti-inflammatory, helps you lower blood sugar, helps your immunity, helps bring up your mood. And bile also can help with supporting a healthy liver, as well as helping you extract the essential fatty acids like omega-3 fatty acids. All right, thanks for watching. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.